So what's going on everybody? This is your boy Marcus Murray and you know, it's a sad thing for a grown man to get an allowance. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is your boy Marcus Murray and I'm here with my lovely wife. Shire Murray. And you know, for those of you who know us and for those of you who know our story, you know that we recently became debt free. You know, with that, we still want to tighten up a few things. Yes. You know, you still want to make sure you're tying up any loose ends budget wise. You don't want to spend frivolously. You don't want to fall back into debt. So with that, my wife has me on an allowance for lunch. We're both on an allowance. Yeah, but it, it really feels like it's just me, you know? <laughs> I have a very bad weakness. I love eating out. I love it because it's fast, it's whatever my mind, oh, I want this. I can just go get it. But my wife, is, is, she's been working with me yes. and helping me to, you know, take lunch or here, spend a set amount of money for lunch. So I'm on an allowance. And Shara, how do you, how do you think that's going so far? So my thing is not the fact that you go out to lunch, it's just that it has to be gourmet. When a restaurant owner knows you by first name. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Like, I think that's that's in excess. It's just like, I'll, I would see the total and I would say, who went with you? You're like, oh, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> the cool thing about it is she's got me excited about sticking to this budget. So now what I find myself doing is trying to spend less, trying to see how much I can save. And it's really been a good idea. So for those of you who are, you know, struggling with the lunchtime spending habits, maybe it'd be a good idea to get yourself on a budget. So one thing that you did that was really sweet was you didn't spend all of your lunch money and you had some leftover lunch money and you gave me like $10 <laughs> hey, the, the following week. It's the least I, I can do. I thought that was so sweet. <laughs> yeah, and that's the cool thing about it is, you know, if you save your spending during the week, you can do something cool on the weekend. You know, we like to go to the Waffle House. You know, that's what we love to do. You like to go to the Waffle House. Oh man, I Okay, the it. food is good. Food is it really is good. good. So, you know, sometimes I just get to spend my lunch money that I didn't spend during the week. And you know, you're having fun, but yet you're still saving. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want to do. That's what the moral of this video really truly is. Yeah, and though we're calling it lunch money, it is like a portion of our entertainment money. So if you are doing your budget and you set aside X amount of dollars for entertainment, you can split that with your spouse or you can, you know, keep that in an envelope or just say, you know, this is how much we're, go we're going to spend. But as far as our entertainment, we've kind of decided to split it and then you would get some and I would get some. And then hope that there's something left over come weekend time. Right. So don't be afraid to pack those sack lunches and take them with you to work and save a few dollars because it really helps and every little bit counts. Yeah, definitely try it out. It doesn't have to be something that you're going to do forever, but um, if you try it and you find that it works for you and your, and your spouse and it's saving you money in the long run, it might be worth doing. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please follow us here on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would really appreciate it. Share this video, share what we're talking about here at Black Mary Debt Free. So for Marcus Murray, this is my beautiful wife. Shira Murray. And we are black. Married and, and debt free. Debt -free.